Good morning. And today, as we continue this Christmas season, we remember the martyr St. Thomas a Becket. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And also with you. As we prepare to celebrate these holy mysteries together, let us recall our sins and seek our Heavenly Father's forgiveness. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, Father we, we have, have sinned, sinned against you and, and against you our neighbour in thought and word and deed, deed through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent of mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, who gave grace to your servant Thomas Becket to put aside all earthly fear and be faithful even to death, grant that we, disregarding worldly esteem, may fight all wrong, uphold your rule and serve you to our life's end. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first book of the Kings. Elijah came to a cave and spent the night there. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, What are you doing here, Elijah? He answered, I have been very je jealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, for the Israelites have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword. I alone am left, and they are seeking my life to take it away. He said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Now there was a great wind, so strong that it was splitting mountains and breaking rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a sound of sheer silence. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Behold, God is my helper. Behold, God, God is, is my helper. helper. Save me, O God, by your name. In your might, Defend my cause. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. Behold, oh, God, God is, is my, my helper. helper. For the arrogant have risen up against me, and the ruthless have sought my life, those who have no regard for God. Behold, oh, God, God is, is my, my helper. helper. I will offer you a free will sacrifice and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have rescued me from every trouble and my eye has seen the ruin of my foes. Behold, Behold God, God is, is my, my helper. helper. The Lord 
be with you. And also with you. Hear the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, you o, o Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. And even the hairs on your head are all counted. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, oh, O Christ. Christ. Thomas Beckett, Archbishop and Martyr. And I've long had a soft spot for him, and we keep his feast today. For eight years I was vicar of Willerton, and the church is right next to the site of the home of Sir Reginald Fitzurse, one of the four knights who murdered Thomas in Canterbury Cathedral in 1170. I once even left a note of apology for, for the actions of my former parishioner uh, for the parish priest of St Thomas of Becket Church in Montmartre in Paris. I never did receive a reply. Becket was murdered mainly because of his resistance to King Henry II's uh, uh, encroachment of civil power over the life of the church, particularly the clergy. Thomas was brave, resilient, single-minded and resolute. He was also very stubborn. Thomas was the son of a merchant, well-educated, an excellent administrator and a very skilled diplomat. He became a very close friend of the king, who in 1155 appointed him Chancellor which made him one of the most powerful men in the kingdom. In 1161, the king nominated Thomas as Archbishop of Canterbury when the post became vacant, because Henry thought that it would be a way to bind church and state closer together and to give the state a measure of control. <coughs> Thomas at that time wasn't even in holy orders, so he was ordained priest the day before he was consecrated bishop. Henry had his way. Thomas became archbishop. But then the king was in for a shock. Thomas took his new job very seriously. And he wasn't going to be pushed around by anybody, not even a king. So the king got very frustrated at all of this. He, his scheme wasn't working and he lost his temper. And he, he failed to control the church, which is what he wanted. And then he uttered those famous words, that might well be, well, they probably are apocryphal, who will rid me of this turbulent priest. Four knights hearing this immediately rose up, went to Canterbury, and murdered the Archbishop in his cathedral in front of an altar. People were outraged. They condemned the King as a murderer and already very quickly proclaimed Thomas a saint and a martyr. And Thomas's tomb in the cathedral very quickly became one of the foremost pilgrimage destinations in Europe. And it remained so for about 400 years. Chaucer's Canterbury Tales are all about a group of pilgrims on their way to Canterbury to pray at the shrine of Thomas Becket. The king was mortified. He protested that the knights had not carried out his will. He had not meant Thomas to be murdered. He, and, and, and he did penance. He even lashed himself 
as he knelt at the tomb of the shrine. Today we especially Thomas, remember Thomas and we, we honour his memory. And we renew our determination to serve God in and through his church. We take Thomas as an example of life. And as we do that, we must show the same bravery, resilience, single-mindedness and resolution as did Thomas. And we stand up for the faith and we proclaim that Christ has come into the world to save us and to save all people. And now let us pray. Let us pray to God whose love brings victory out of suffering and death. Father, may your church always have the courage to preach the gospel without fear, after the example of blessed Thomas, who witnessed to the world and did not count the cost. Grant to all Christian people perseverance in their calling and faithfulness to the truth that they have been taught. We pray for our own church, for Peter, our bishop, for Ruth, bishop of Taunton, and Jonathan, bishop of Ebbsfleet. Give them courage and strength as they proclaim the gospel. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously, graciously hear us. us. Have mercy on the world, where good is often met with evil and love with anger. Open the eyes of men and women everywhere to see and follow the goodness around them. Bless those in authority and lead them into the way of peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Give us strength when faith is hard and brings us into conflict with others. Help us to witness by word and example to those among whom we live and work. We pray for all who suffer persecution for the sake of the gospel for all whose faith has alienated them from those who should be close to them. Give them courage in their afflictions and soften the hearts of their persecutors. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear, hear us. us. We pray for the sick and the suffering, especially those known to us who need our prayers. Pray for those who are in hospital and those suffering from the COVID virus. Surround those who mourn with your love. Grant them the knowledge of your presence with them and the hope of resurrection. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear, hear us. us. We give thanks for all who have faithfully witnessed to the truth in this world. We pray that those who have suffered for their faith may find rest and eternal life in the realm where all tears are wiped away and there is no more pain. We pray for those who have died, especially those known to us whom we love but seen no more. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear, hear us. us. We pray through Christ that we may be strong in the faith and sustained by his holy martyrs. Merciful Father, 
accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. And as we celebrate these holy mysteries together, we know that God is with us to grant us his peace and his comfort. And so may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at these hands, to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you, with saints and angels praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear son. On the night before he died he had suffered with his friends and taking bread he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said take eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life. Help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St John our patron and St Thomas martyr and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread. To share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. God give you grace to follow Saint Thomas and all his saints in love and faith and hope and courage and single-mindedness and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Mass is over. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the, In the name, name of, of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.